Hey everybody, welcome back. We're in the Pratt Pack gym getting ready to go to work before we go to work. Hey listen, yesterday I found out that uh, the man that Frank Sinatra said was the best of the best when it came to that group of crooners that made their way to incredible heights in the music industry back in the 40s and 50s. Vic Damone passed away in Miami, he was 89. Vic Damone was an incredible talent. Born in Brooklyn, New York, some of its hits included Breaking My Heart, On the Street Where You Live, probably his most famous. But what I remember about Vic Damone was the fact that he had style, he had grace, and when he hit his mark on the stage and that white hot spotlight was directly on him, the guy never even perspired because he was always in control and he was always able to hit the note. You know, I know every generation thinks they're the first to start something such as, you know, today's generation and of course the millennials, Generation X, we baby boomers. You know, we baby boomers, we had our Walkmans and cassettes and of course today, these smartphones and being able to get music via iTunes, Google Music, everybody has their time. But believe it or not, my parents in the 50s, they had their glass of wine, some pasta for dinner, always with candlelight, and yes, the hi-fi in the background. And more times than not, when that 33 and a third needle hit the vinyl, there was a good chance it was going to be Vic Damone, Perry Como, Jerry Vale, Rosemary Clooney, or maybe even the chairman of the board. More times than not, it was Frank Sinatra, and yeah, my favorite, Dean Martin. But make no mistake about it, Vic Damone truly has left an incredible legacy, not only of a lot of hit records and a lot of incredible performances, but his type of performer, they're far and few between that can have a career that spans five decades. His personal life, it had its ups and downs, but he had some incredible times too. Also the father of two children and now leaving behind six grandchildren that will carry on that great Damone legacy. You know, at one time he was married to Pierre Angeli. She was an incredible actress in the 50s who was actually dating James Dean before the young actor was killed tragically in that car crash. And then later in life, he married one of my all-time favorites, the star of the NBC show, Julia. Speaking of class, she was incredible, incredible actress, great talent, and she is still around today, and she is Diane Carroll. So to the friends and family of Vic Damone, and you know, we Italians take it very serious, those who carry on our great legacy and take it to the stratosphere as Vic Damone did, all I can say, it was um, pretty special, the ride that you had, Mr. Damone, and I just wanna thank you for taking us along for the ride. Have a great day from the Pratt Pack Gym.